All right, good day, hi, and welcome. How to become a millionaire with a chainsaw. First, be a millionaire. Second, buy a chainsaw. All right, <laughs> so I got the uh, Sasquatch here. Uh, I'm gonna try to start him again today, play around with him. I'm gonna be taking him, uh, this is my MS-270. I'm gonna take him to the, uh, to the uh, still hospital pretty soon. Just, just see if it's worthwhile fixing this guy up a bit more. I try him today. I don't think he's going to run any better than he did yesterday. It runs in a bogs. Uh, I probably need all new hoses and God knows what this poor saw will need. Definitely needs a rebuild. So uh, we'll see if I can get him going. Okay. I got Missy. He's going to get get away from my camera. My cat's about to ambush my camera. I literally just let her inside like two seconds ago. It's going to get more noisy, Missy. So it did start, it starts and it dies. So basically now I gotta let it sit for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then try it and usually it'll go. What exactly is wrong with this poor thing? Probably needs a new carb too. Needs probably a little bit of everything. There is gas. There is, yeah, there's lots of gas in it, so. But if I can get this guy up and running good for not too much money, I mean, I got this whole saw for free, so I don't have any money in it. But if it's, say, like a 200 bucks to rebuild it, it's definitely worth it for the amount of saw you're getting. Two, three hundred dollars. Three hundred would be like my cutoff. Because I know at three hundred dollars, if this thing is running perfect at three hundred dollars, I could get easy four or five for it. Uh, because they don't make this model anymore, they make a 280. Uh, but it's the farm one. This is like the MS series. So this is like the, these are the good ones, right? Um, but, um, yeah, it's like, uh, it's worth it for me to get these guys going, but I do need a new saw. Like there, there's no doubt about it. I need something bigger, bigger, but lighter, like, uh, the MS, uh, 400 is actually lighter than this this thing this thing's pretty heavy i forget what i weighed it in at it was it was heavy enough it was like 16 17 pounds all in something like that uh the 260 was like a pound lighter um whatever it was i'll try it one more time we'll try it one more time get this sucker going it did go but as you see it just won't stay running so Yeah, is what it is, is what it is. But I want to get all my stuff running good before next week if I can, or the week after, because tonight I got to call all my clients for the season, see where they stand, see if they still want my services. Hopefully they will. And then I can work out my... Um, my uh oh i didn't realize the oiler just was right here that's really cool um these were pretty sought after saws for sure uh they they, they totally were uh but um yeah I, I got this a couple of years ago now and i worked it maybe two days and it was the same thing. It would run for about 15 minutes and then it would bog and die. And uh, yeah, I couldn't figure it out. I figure it's just the hose, the fuel hoses are probably got sucking air and stuff like that. Who knows? But when you do clean up the saw, it's actually not a bad condition saw. 
you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure it's had its use or whatever. Uh, a guy threw it out. A guy I did a job for, a, and he was going to throw it out. I said, what was wrong with it? He said it was seized. I said, okay. So I didn't even pull it over in front of him because I'm like, I said, okay. I said, what do you want to do with it? He goes, well, I'm just going to chuck it. I said, do you mind if I take it for parts? He goes, sure, go ahead. So I took it home. I pulled it once and it wasn't seized. So I'm like, okay. And he, he told me the guy that told him who it was seized. And I'm like, okay, I know that guy. Nice guy. But I would never let him mechanically work on anything I know. <laughs> own because I know he's not that uh, he's not that mechanically savvy uh, so it was just like yeah I figured so my dad played around with it and he had it going the next day but like we adjusted it uh, as well as like the idle and the mixture as well you can you, you get going and then like I say it would have run for about 15 minutes and then it would die I it, it just dies so I'm not exactly sure why. It does seem to have enough compression. Uh, I'm sure it's getting tired. Uh, but if you do rebuild the 270, the nice thing about the 270 is that uh, you can, uh, the uh, you don't have to, I don't think you have, look into this obviously, but I think you can upgrade this to a 280. So if they said, yeah, we can rebuild this for you uh, for uh, 300 bucks, you know, at the still shop. And I know I could do the rebuild myself, but guys, all the stuff I got to work on, you know, when my busy season gets here, I don't have time to work on my own trucks, let alone, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't have, don't really have the place to work on my trucks, but like saws and stuff like that, at least I can work in here when it's raining and stuff. But I just don't have that time. You know what I mean? Like there's like, there's just so many hours in a day. I'd rather pay the extra 300 bucks here. You do it. You got the shop, the proper tools. Yeah. You've done it a million times. Put, you know, fix my saw because it's easier for me to earn back the $300 uh, or whatever it'll cost to rebuild it than it is for me to, you know, save $300 of labor or whatever. Uh, well, it wouldn't be $300 labor, but, you know, the, the labor, you know, got to work for the, to pay, you know, the labor I could either, how, how do I put this? I got to work for it either way. So I either have to put in the time to work on it okay and not be making money during that time or i have to work a couple of hours to pay for somebody else to work on it who can do a better job so <laughs> you know what i mean i just you know like here i drop it off you call me when it's ready if it's a week it's a week if it's a month it's a month whatever doesn't matter when i get back the next 10 years <laughs> you know uh hopefully i won't have to be doing this stuff in 10 years but uh Hopefully I'm able to do this stuff in 10 years, but not have to do this stuff in 10 years. Hopefully I'm retired by then. But uh, yeah. But anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys a little update on the Sasquatch and stuff like that. And I'm going to be taking it into the still shop with all my other stuff this week, next week. I'm not sure yet. Depends. Uh, I want to do a couple more jobs before I go to pay my credit card because, uh, you know, I'd like to put a higher payment on there take down the principal interest and uh, drop these things off in the meantime and see what's what. All right. Anyway, there we go.